Hi everybody, my name is Carissa Barker and welcome to my YouTube channel. All I wanna know, are you thinking about me? I just gotta know. I just gotta know. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a bunch of fun winter date ideas that you can do this season. I've been compiling this list for couple of years now and I think it's pretty good so I decided I would share it with you guys. Keep in mind I do live in Utah and we do have a lot of snow during our winters so some of these things on this list might only be available somewhere that has snow or in Utah because that's what I know. But regardless of where you live there are still a bunch of fun winter date ideas on here so keep on watching. Making Christmas cookies. This is such a fun way to spend time with somebody. You can turn on some Christmas music, get a little bit messy, and it's just super fun. And then in the end, if you don't want to eat all of the Christmas cookies, you can share them with friends, family, or people in need. And this is just such a great way to spread Christmas cheer. Ice skating. I personally love ice skating. It's a great way to maybe get a little bit physical with somebody. You guys can hold hands so that you don't fall or something like that. My personal favorite way to go ice skating is this cute little outdoor ice skating rink that I have near where I live and right next to it there is like a fountain that they do a water and lights show and there's tons of Christmas lights. It's in this little shopping center and then after you ice skate for a couple hours you can grab some hot chocolate and sit by this fireplace that's right there. It's just super romantic and a really fun, cute date. And if you don't live somewhere where it's cold, you can always do indoor ice skating as well, which is just as fun. Sledding. This was not something I necessarily thought of to do as a date until recently. Um, I used to go sledding all the time when I was a kid, but it never really crossed my mind to do it now that I'm older. But I went recently and it's actually super fun. And I kind of missed it and it brought back a lot of childhood memories. So definitely consider doing that as a date if you can't think of anything else. And it's super inexpensive too. You can get like $5 sleds from Walmart and then you have them forever. So it's really awesome. Snowboarding or skiing, depending on what you're into, this definitely is a lot more of an expensive date. But some people who really like it have season passes or have their own skis and stuff. I just barely started skiing last season, which is kind of weird because I do live in Utah and it's very common here, and I just barely started, but I love it. It's so much fun, but it is expensive, so not something that you can necessarily do all of the time, depending on your circumstances. Making gingerbread houses. There's a couple ways that you can make gingerbread houses. You can buy like a kit at Walmart that aren't super expensive and comes with all the pieces already cut out and the frosting and the decorations and stuff and those are pretty easy to do and, and still pretty fun. Um, or you can try to make your own gingerbread which is definitely a lot more challenging and takes some skill which I personally have never attempted myself. But yeah, or if you want to take the super easy route, you can just use graham crackers. I used to do this all the time as a kid and it's really fun. You can make cute little fun dorky houses and stuff and they might not look quite as extravagant, but then you don't feel as bad eating them afterwards because they didn't take that much work. But yeah, those are kind of fun to do too. Going to the ice castles. This might just be something that is only available where I live. I'm not really sure if other places have this. But it's about an hour away from where I live and they just created these beautiful castles basically made out of ice and it is so stunning and they put lights in them and it is just like going to Elsa's castle almost and it's just so stunning and a really romantic, super cute date. Highly recommend if you live in Utah, definitely check it out or if you don't live in Utah, maybe see if where you live has something like these because it really is like such an incredible experience. A horse-drawn carriage ride. I know that these are only available in like the big cities where I live, not necessarily everywhere, but if you go to one of the bigger cities, a lot of times they just have these like horse-drawn carriages riding around similar to like a taxi and you can just get on board and pay them a little bit and they will take you around the city. It's just kind of like a fun old-fashioned thing. You guys can cuddle in the back of the carriage and see the city and and it's a really cute date. Going to see Christmas lights. There's several popular places to go see lights around where I live that have beautiful displays. Um, there's like there's several parks around here that have 
whole lighting displays and things like that. You can go to another popular one is Temple Square in Salt Lake City. They have such beautiful lights there. Um, but if you don't have any big displays around where you live, you can also just go around neighborhoods and drive around the neighborhoods looking at each house's little Christmas displays and that can be just as fun sometimes too. Volunteering somewhere. Service and volunteering is needed all year round, but especially around Christmas time, there's a lot more opportunities to help those in need. So I think it's really important to sometimes use the money that we might have spent on a date to help those in need. One thing I did on a date one time that was super fun, we went to a local angel tree where you pick a child's name off the tree and it gives you some information about them. And then you can go Christmas shopping for them, you buy the toys and then you bring it back. That was such a fun date because it just showed me that that guy had a lot of, a lot of love in his heart and was willing to serve other people. We spent the money we would have already spent on the date on helping other people and it just felt so, so good. Or if you don't have a lot of money to spend, you could volunteer at a food bank giving meals to the homeless. There's endless opportunities to serve and I encourage all of you to consider doing something like that this season to help somebody in need. Go see a Christmas show. A lot of people around here have a tradition to go see the musical A Christmas Carol. There's tons of local theaters around here and there's always one of them or multiple of them that are performing A Christmas Carol and that's just a really fun way to get into the holiday spirit. Or you could go see The Nutcracker which is kind of a tradition for some people. And if it's not a tradition for you, you might consider making it a tradition. Support the arts. These people put so much time and effort into putting together these shows and it's great to support them and it's a great way to celebrate the holiday. Another really fun winter date idea that I love doing is going to a hot springs. There's several around where I live and it's super fun because it's so cold outside but then you can get into this really warm water and mineral hot springs also have a lot of like healing properties and they're so so good for you. So they're really fun. I love swimming and so going to hot springs is really the only way I can swim in the winter because otherwise it's way too cold. But yeah, hot springs are super fun dates. I highly recommend. Try it if you haven't. Going on a canyon drive. I live near the mountains and driving through the canyon in the winter is so breathtaking. It is gorgeous. You do have to be careful about when you go. You don't want to go when there's a snowstorm or if there was just a snowstorm because they probably haven't had time to clear the roads and it could be a little bit dangerous. But if you go on a clear day and just drive through the mountains, so breathtaking. You can pull over, take some pictures. It's super fun. Making a snowman or having a snowball fight. Similarly to the sledding, this kind of just brings you back to your childhood, brings you back to your roots and uh, you can just have a lot of fun together. And that's what dating is all about, is just finding somebody that you can have fun with. Decorating for Christmas. If you haven't already put up your Christmas tree yet, um, that can be a fun thing to do on a date. Bring some light and joy into the house or just putting decorations up around the house can be super fun. Sometimes the winter months can be a little dark and depressing, so bringing some decorations and some joy into the house can be a lot of fun. If you've already decorated your house, another fun thing you could do is go to something we have where I live is called the Festival of Trees. And there's just a huge room set up with a bunch of really awesomely decorated Christmas trees. They all usually have a theme and you can just go walk around and see all the beautiful Christmas trees. I don't know if there's something like that where you live, but it's, it's super fun seeing all the fun different ways people decorate things and stuff like that making DIY sweaters. So you could do it like an ugly Christmas sweater kind of thing or you guys could like learn how to knit or learn how to crochet together and like legitimately try to make a sweater and learn a new skill together. It's something you guys can do inside where it's nice and warm. Turn on a Christmas movie while you're trying to learn. Um, it could be really fun or you could just get some sweaters from a thrift shop or something like that and then decorate them kind of fun and cute or whatever and it could just be a fun little activity to do together as you're getting to know each other better. Just brings out the creativity in you and can be really fun. 
All right, that is all the winter dates that I'm gonna share with you guys today. If you want me to share more date ideas that I have or do other seasons, I'd be happy to do that. Let me know down in the comments if that's something that interests you or feel free to comment anything else. If you liked this video, you know what to do and please subscribe. It doesn't hurt you at all, but it helps me a ton and I really appreciate the support. I try to post a new video every single Thursday, so make sure you hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss any of my new uploads. You can also follow me on my Instagram if you want. It is at Carissa underscore Barker. Thanks so much again for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.